Hello everyone. In this video, we will be talking about Amazon Elastic File System. It is a scalable Elastic Cloud Native NFS file system. So if you know about NFS server, which we can configure locally from our side, we can create our own NFS server, but there we have to maintain our server. We have to maintain our storage and a lot more things. But this is a service provided by AWS where we don't have to do as such anything. We just have to do some clicks and now our complete file system would be ready. We can easily mount it with our any virtual machine and we can easily use it. So how to do it? So let's see in this video. Before that, you can see about pricing. So it is providing us multiple kinds of storage, for example, standard storage and one zone storage, one zone frequent access storage. So all of them have their different price. So you can even go to AWS pricing calculator for more details about this pricing. So here we can click on create estimate and we can estimate our price. So this is very helpful. If you are going to use this service or any AWS service, it is always recommended to have some idea about pricing. For example, I'm using US East region, and then I can select here a service. For example, I'm selecting a service name as EFS. So I can select EFS service. Then I can use all the option which EFS provide. So here it provide desired storage capacity. For example, I'm giving 100 for now and then giving some more details. Otherwise, if I just click save and add summary, so you will see AWS would be showing us estimate summary. For example, it will include around 96 USD. Now, if you can go back, so here, this is a way you can calculate or you can estimate the price. Now, let's go back to EFS and let's see how we can create a file system. So we just have to click on create file system it will ask for a name. So for example, I'm giving AWS EFS test, something like that. And then it will ask for a VPC in which virtual private cloud it will be creating this uh, EFS server. So for now I'm going with my by default VPC, but if I can choose any other VPC too. Now I can just click on create and it will create a file system for me. Now you will see this file system would be created. I can click here and you will see it will show us multiple details. And then if we go to monitoring, so here we can see about different matrices and here we can see about network and replication and all the other things. Now, how I can use it in my EC2 instance, for example. So for that, let me launch an EC2 instance. So I will open a new tab and then I would be launching an EC2 instance. How to launch an EC2 instance? We have already talked in one of our video. So let's do it very quickly. We can go to instances. We can go for launch instances. And here we can give it a name, for example, OS1. And then we can use, for example, Amazon Linux. And we are going with all the by default options. Uh, if you want, then you, you can create a key also. If you don't want, then you can go without a key also. And then you can uh, allow some traffic. And then you can configure your storage. And then we can click on launch instance. And once the instance will be launched, then we can easily attach this file system to the machine. And now one good thing about this file system is we don't have to do any partition. We don't have to do any formatting, which we have done with EBS. In this case, it will be already formatted. We just have to mount it to our directory and then we can use it. So you can see how much simple it is. And that's why it is called as file system. Now, if you wanted to attach file system with your virtual machine in this case, then you can click on attach. It will tell you here we have couple of ways to mount this particular file system with our EC2 instance. So now as our instance is ready, so let's connect it and let's mount it very quickly. So we can click on connect. Now as here I have used Amazon Linux, so it is providing us this web UI also. So from here also we can connect to our EC2 instance and we can work on it. If you are selecting any other image, then in that case you will have to do SSH. So let's first of all switch to the root user. And now let me clear my screen. Before that, let me show you that till now we don't have file system mounted. You will see it is not mounted yet. We just have 8 GB of EBS volume, which is currently mounted to slash drive. But now we can mount it. How to mount it? So before that, I have to create here a directory. And let me create here a directory, for example, EFS data. And now once the directory have been created, now we can easily mount it. So here we can use any of these command, but now I would be using this the NFS client. And as we already installed NFS details 
software. So we have all the required libraries. So we can easily come here and we can easily just paste this command. And here we are going to mount this particular file system to my EFS data directory. So let me write here the complete name EFS data. And you will see as I will click enter, it would be mounted. And now even if you see, you will see it have been this particular file system have been mounted to this EFS data folder. And the main thing is you will see the size. Now the size is exceptional. Here you will see don't have 8 GB or 8 MB of size. It is almost providing you unlimited amount of storage. That's not a small thing. And that is the reason if I go to EFS uh, data directory and if I will use this particular space, then I can store anything here. We are getting here something around, you can say unlimited amount of storage they are giving to me, AWS is giving to me. And now here I can create some folder, I can create some file, I can do anything. I can create some more file, it will work for me. Now this EFS service have a lot of use cases. We will be talking about one of the use cases which we can use in the world of web development and we have a lot of use cases about it. So I would be showing you about them in the next video. Thank you.